Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group, and what I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have the Dodge Durango SRT392. So we'll look at the interior, the exterior, and then see what this thing's like out on the road. Okay, so now we're behind the wheel of the Durango SRT392, and there is a ton of equipment, a lot of stuff to cover, but before we even get going, I've got my cell phone with me, as we always do. I've got it down here on the wireless charger, and I've got wireless Apple CarPlay. You can also do Android Auto in here. It's amazing. We'll dig into that a little bit later, but... I've already got it fired up, but you gotta hear this thing. I wish I would have taken a video when it cold started this morning, but just the fire up and exhaust is amazing. So listen to this. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's put it in drive, go for a spin around. Now, we have to talk about what is pretty much the crown jewel of this car, which is the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 392. Obviously, like the name says, it's 392 cubic inch motor. That makes 475 horsepower. Now, all of these Durangos are gonna come with an eight speed automatic transmission, and they are gonna be paired with the all wheel drive. So what does that mean? It's an amazing winter vehicle. It's an amazing summer vehicle. It is so much fun. I was driving it around this morning and I actually was recently on a road trip where we rented one of these Durangos and there was four of us in the car, all of our luggage headed out to a wedding, going through the mountains. It was such a great time. I really hadn't spent too much time behind the wheel or riding around in a Durango, but it was quiet, it was comfortable, and that wasn't the 392 though. So when I hopped into this one, I immediately, like, you just start giggling because it's so much fun and I think that's really what Dodge does best is they give you a vehicle that's fun but it's also usable and convenient. This is a third row SUV so this particular one in the second row is going to have the captain's chairs so you can do the bench option if you want the seven seat ability or the six so you get two in the back two with the captains and then the two obviously up front but there's so much good equipment in here. That third row, if you're not hauling people around, you can actually pull those little kind of handles on the back and that's gonna kick the seats down and you do get a pretty large cargo area. There's also some underfloor storage, so if you need to keep things out of sight or you just need a little bit more room, that's pretty convenient. And the second row, I again was amazed at just how easy it is to fold those seats. There's a little red handle you can pull and pretty much with one hand, it folds the seat, you pull again, and then it flips it forward. So you do get a huge amount of storage space if you're you're looking to haul something or bring something with you but then the convenience of just pulling those handles and hopped into the third row for the kids or you can even put adults back there yes it's a little tighter than maybe some of the huge third row suvs but it does work now let's start on the exterior so this one with the white paint is going to have the black 20 inch wheels so they're 20 by 10 and then you've also got the red srt brembos it looks so cool. It's a matte black wheel and with the red popping out through that and the white finish, I think this is pretty much the way I would configure one. Cause then again, obviously on the inside, you've got this bright red leather, which looks so cool. And the extra bolstering on these seats, you're really gonna want it. Cause with 475 horsepower, I think this thing zero to 60 is 4.1 seconds. There's a whole bunch of different gauges and configurations. You can track your quarter mile or eighth mile times in here. This thing boogies. It is really fast and it sounds crazy too. You just forget how good these Hemi V8s sound until you're really in here and with the windows down cruising, it is just a good time. Now what else is cool, there's functional vents on the hood scoop. Most of the scoops and vents and everything you see these days are fake, but this one actually has real hood scoops. And then when you pop the hood, you get to see that 392 on the Hemi. It just looks so cool. And you can really, like I said, make this thing breathe and have some fun when you're on the road. Now this one also gets the black exhaust tips out back and it's gonna have the black badging around the vehicle. And this is capable when properly equipped of towing up to 8,700 pounds. So so if you've got that big boat, you're looking to go to the lake for the weekend, head up to the cabin, it's got the brake controller in here, it's got different trailering settings you can go through on the digital gauge cluster. So there's a lot of usability out of this vehicle as well. Whether you're hauling, I mean the family, if you've got an enclosed trailer, the big boat, like I said, and the turning radius is crazy. It's almost laughable how good it was the first time I went and turned around in the parking lot, because you expect a third row SUV to not be very agile on its feet, but this really is pretty impressive. And the ride and drive is 
pretty smooth and comfortable. The 392 does make some noise, but you're not buying this car expecting it to be dead quiet in here. You're buying it so you can click the SRT mode down here, set it between track, sport, there's a snow mode, and then like I said, the tow mode. But I mean, it is so good. The interior is also extremely comfortable. Now these red seats are going to be heated for the driver, the passenger, and the second row. They're also gonna be ventilated up front here, and this super thick steering wheel is also heated. So this does come with a remote start. So when you fire up the vehicle, you can have the heated seats going, you can get the heated steering wheel going, and when that winter time comes around, it is going to be nice and comfortable when you hop in. Now, a few other things on the steering wheel here, you do get the big paddle shifters, so you can click it down, you go into manual mode, and then if you wanna get out of that, you just hold the paddle on the right side and it'll go back to the automatic mode for you. But safety, obviously if you've got this much power, you might wanna be a little bit concerned with safety. This is gonna have things like blind spot monitoring. It's got the adaptive cruise control as well. So you can set four, three, two, one car length distances ahead of you. It's gonna keep that distance when you're on the road, and it's a great way to eat up a bunch of miles. Now let's talk about the Uconnect system. So like I mentioned before, wireless Apple CarPlay in here. So I've got my text messaging, Google Maps, Spotify, all that's gonna be right in there. But if you don't wanna use that, this does have a built-in navigation as well. It's really easy and convenient. The Uconnect system is one of my favorite things out there right now. The climate control can be built in here. There's about four different ways to turn on the heated seats or the cooled seats. And then you can go through the climate, whether you wanna use the physical buttons down here or up on the screen. Now, if you click the vehicle tab, you can also kick down the third row headrest. If you're having a little bit of trouble seeing, click that, you can hear them smack back down, and you can also pull up the rear view camera at any time. So I'm going 40 miles an hour down the road here. If you're trying to see what's going on behind you when you're on the road, or if you're trying to get out of the driveway, maybe having a little bit of trouble there, that is a pretty cool feature. You can either swipe down or click on the vehicle tab to access that. Now, in the app setting, this is where it gets pretty cool. This has Amazon Alexa built in. So not only do you have the voice control on the steering wheel here, but you can use Amazon Alexa for some of your paired devices, and you've also got the performance gauges in here. So whether that's, like I said, the lap timers, the gauges, the engine, and the dyno, both the Uconnect system and your digital gauge cluster here can show you the engine horsepower. So if you put your foot down, you can watch that climb as the gas gauge does dip away, but it's totally worth it in my mind. We have to talk about fuel economy. If you're concerned with it, this might be the spot of the video you wanna stop watching at, but it will get you about 18 or 19 MPGs. If you're just kind of cruising along, you can maybe get close to that, but I think for the most part, keeping your foot out of it is gonna be pretty tough. Overall, you're probably looking in the teens range, but like I said, the trade-off for the sound, the fun, the noise, it is absolutely worth it. Even if this is a first or maybe second vehicle for the family, I think as a family hauler, that has 475 horsepower and launch control. You can't expect it to be getting into that 30 or 40 MPG range, but I think a solid high teens is more than enough. Now, like I said, the digital gauge cluster here is pretty cool. You can kind of scroll up and down, gives you all of your information, your speed, your adaptive cruise control stuff, all of your temperatures, settings, some of that track recorded data would be in here as well. So that's a pretty cool way to keep an eye on something. And the screen is just very nice and pleasant. When you fire it up, it's got the SRT logo in here. So I do really like that. Now, like I said, down below, you do get some auxiliary charging. So this has got the two USB-C and two USBs up here in the front. You've got USB-C charging as well as a household outlet in the back and the armrest back there. There's a ton of different ways to charge all your devices. And it, like I said, I took one of these on a road trip and I was very, very happy. There was four of us in the car, everybody had their phones charging and it just is a nice place to be. These seats are definitely more aggressive than the standard Durango, but I like it. There's a power seat, there's memory seats on this side, and some of the appointment of the trim in here is really cool. It's kind of like a crushed carbon fiber look. The stitching, I think, is gorgeous through the cabin. I mean, the black and the red that runs through with the white stitching, it all works really nicely together and looks really good. So, I definitely like it. I could 100% daily drive one of these. It, 
can be a little bit more firm on the road, but like I said, if you're expecting maybe the luxury plush fuel economy, this is not the car for you. If you want the crash, kind of loud noise, some of the revving, I mean, when you get in this thing, you just want to hit that sport button right away and put it into sport mode. It will stiffen up the suspension just a little bit and you can go back to auto, but I mean, it's so much fun. It's just a good time. And I think if you get a vehicle where you park it, lock it, turn around and look back at it, you can't really put a price on that. But this one, you can. The price of this one is over $88,000. So I get it, it is absolutely expensive, but you are getting a ton of cool stuff for the money. Wireless CarPlay, heated ventilated seats, room for six. I mean, just the rear seats with the buckets as well. I mean, you and the family could go out and have fun and you can then be in the pickup line at school dropping the kids off. So it really can kind of do it all. I love the exterior styling on these 392s as well. And if you even want to get a little bit crazier, there's a Hellcat version. So I did drive that, so we can link that one down below if you want to see that video. But I think overall, yes, it's expensive, but yes, you are getting a ton of fun and equipment for the money. This isn't the regular Kia Telluride or maybe the Toyota Highlander that it competes with. This thing is an animal, it's loud, it's fun, and I absolutely think you've got to get out, take one for a spin and see what you think. So that was just a quick look and drive in the 392 Durango. Now, if you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive for yourself, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by anytime. We'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.